Hi guys, welcome to another Theodoro Kitchen Lab. Today we're gonna do feta in a filo pastry, which we're gonna serve it with uh, cherry tomato marmalade and uh, a nice spicy uh, feta cream. So, we're gonna start with uh, the cherry tomato marmalade. So we turn on the fire medium to high again like around 320 320 is okay and uh, we add the butter we allow the butter to melt a little bit i'm gonna need a, a plastic spatula just to handle it and i'm gonna add my spice nice chili flakes time already smells so good and in that case I'm gonna let the butter melt completely and I'm gonna add my cherry tomatoes. So the only thing with the cherry tomatoes is that I blanch them and skin them before. Uh, it's not necessary that you have to do it, uh, but for me, I like it. So I let them cook a little bit. Yes, you see? Nice, it smells so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar. Nice. So, I add the sugar, it's about half a cup of sugar, brown sugar. Right, I'm gonna turn a little bit the heat down. A pinch of salt. A pinch of pepper and that's it. For the feta cream, we're gonna use feta cheese, crumble it a little bit, like as smaller pieces as you can, that easier is gonna be for the blender. A little bit of vinegar, just a touch, not too much, like even less than a, less than a tablespoon. And uh, we're gonna need, let's say, around uh, one and a half sriracha chili flakes and half cup of cream a little bit salt just to taste the feta is already salted so we are ready and this is what we want so this is the feta like spicy feta cream so we keep this in the fridge, we can keep it as it is in the mixer, we don't mind, it's fine. And um, our cherry tomato marmalade is going where we need it. We need it a little bit thick, the liquid, most of it, like, uh, you see, like, it comes like nicely. So we're just waiting to be a little bit more like as a syrup consistency. and. Um, we can continue with uh, frying our nice uh, feta filo. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, this process. So you need to have the, the feta inside the corn flour. Uh, the best that you can do is put it from the, the previous day at night, cut it in the pieces that you like and dip them in the, in the corn flour. So it's gonna dry out the feta and um, it's not gonna ruin your filo. So uh, we're gonna need a little bit egg, one egg yolk so we can brush it. And uh, let's start with the wrapping. So I'm gonna cut this filo in half. Um, we need a little bit, not too much, just to be crispy. Make sure that there is not too much uh, corn starts on the feta. And uh, we're wrapping it like an envelope, right? So nice, tight, as tight as you can. So. Yes, so a little bit egg on the side, so it's gonna stick nicely. That's it. And here we go all the way down nicely. We add a little bit egg yolk and from the other side. And we just fold in it. 
that's nice, beautiful. We can cut the excess here that it doesn't look so nice. Be careful on the sides guys, don't cut the sides. And this is one like nice piece of feta and crusta pastry. We're just gonna dip it in the, in the fryer. Yes, and we are ready. The marmalade is great, you see? The cherry tomatoes, they keep the shape. Definitely they are more sweeter. Um, it's gonna be tasty, great. So let's taste a little bit. Uh... So when you taste, when you taste sugar, syrup or something, you need to be very, very careful, careful when you put it in your mouth. 100% you're gonna get burned and the, the worst burn is from sugar. So make sure that it's cold. Whew. Sometimes I can't even believe myself. Oh my God, wow. So that's the end product. This is what we need for the feta. I think it's very nice and simple uh, appetizer. If you have friends, home or like someone that you just wanna do something like different, uh, I, think it, I think this is different. And uh, it's very tasty, like it's rewarding. And for last, the maple syrup. We are in Canada, right? Like, where are you going without maple syrup? So this is it. Feta in a filo crusta with a feta cream and a cherry tomato marmalade. See you in another kitchen lab.